Hello and welcome to the Fat Gent. Over the Easter holiday, uh, we all headed down to County Mayo on the west coast of Ireland. We stayed in a, a wee hotel called New Port House. It's a fisher person's hotel, it's sort of designed and set up around, uh, around the salmon fishing season. Now it's a hotel that I've been staying at for over 20 years and uh, I love it. I go down with my aunt and uncle and cousins and this time my mum and dad were down and brothers, a whole family affair, there's a whole team, team of us down. I was fantastic. We were even able to bring the dog. At the back of the hotel they've got what probably would have been old workman's cottages, that sort of idea and they're now converted for, uh, for families with dogs. So fantastic, so a big apartment, three bedrooms, uh, several bathrooms and that in it. So again, that was a nice, nice being able to bring Nelly down with us. The hotel itself, it's an old gentleman's residence, which has been converted many years ago to be a hotel. Now, I wouldn't describe it as a luxury hotel, but it's, it's a grand old big house. It hasn't changed much, if anything. Since I've been going, I remember whenever they got TVs for the first time. Now the TVs in the bedroom, you know, they're tiny, but you're not you're not there to watch TV. You're in some fantastic scenery, fantastic lakes and drives and locks and some beautiful, stunning beaches. And if you're into it, some of the world's best, what used to be the world's best salmon fishing. Newport House itself, it's filled with antiques and antiquities and collectibles from maybe this owner's but certainly previous owner's travels. There's a lot of uh, French inspired, a lot of Asian inspired uh, objects, a lot of African inspired objects. And it's nice to, to have a walk around the house and enjoy the different objects and different antiques. And I just, I wish I knew more about them. I wish I had more knowledge about the actual items themselves to perhaps appreciate them that little bit more. There's a lot of prize fish which has been mounted. The pike and salmon and I think rainbow trout. Again, we'll put in some photographs here. It's a thoroughly, thoroughly relaxing stay and the food is excellent. The food is fantastic. I think it's been the same chef in the 20 years that I've been going and they're renowned for their seafood and in particular their oysters. They do oysters Rockefeller which are the finest I've had anywhere in the world. They're absolutely amazing. So if anybody's ever down that direction, it's worth a night or two staying in it, especially if you're touring around Ireland. Definitely, definitely make it one of the stops for one of the nights. You won't regret it. Now, what I've seen in, in the Mayo area, there's a lot of what they call green lanes, and they're being used, uh, they've all been tarmacked over, and they're being used by bicycles. It looks like they're perhaps old train tracks and it's now been converted for, for a bicycle route which is fantastic. The amount of people milling about on bikes is amazing and it's great that they've got their own lane separate from the road altogether. Sometimes it's running parallel with the road and sometimes it's two, three hundred metres away from the road. So again, a great family destination. Loads of points of interest. Loads of nice wee bars and restaurants about the place. It's definitely worth a visit. Uh, so I put together this wee video just covering our, our, our three night stay. There'll be clips of this and that. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Right. Uh, just this is the second time recording this. I forgot to turn the, the road shotgun microphone on the first time. I've got one of the dead cat windbreakers on it. So hopefully it's doing a decent job at cutting down the sound, cutting down the wind noise. We're at Loch Furness here, which is a very famous salmon fishing lake in the west coast of Ireland. People travel from all around the world to fish in this area, and Loch Furness would be one of the most famous of them. And in the background there, we can see Croke Patrick, which is, um, again, it's a famous mountain here. It's revered in the Catholic Church. A lot of people pay penance by walking up at barefoot at particular times of the year. I can't remember exactly when. There's a salmon fishery here, or fisheries office, which I believe does a lot of research to protect the salmon species. 
but what you're fishing for here are, are their wild salmon and from the Atlantic. It's really beautiful. There's lots and lots of flock systems and lakes set around here. This is Morani Beach. Again, beautiful white sand beach. We bit nippy on it, but really stunning beach. Nobody on it apart from us, apart from the family. Let's see. Look. Look at that. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So we'll see where we head to next. From a shoulder there, you'll we'll see Clare Island. Now this is off the, the west coast of Ireland, off County Mayo. I was reading there, in 1588, the defeated Armada, the Spanish Armada, was on their way back around the west coast of Ireland. And five ships were lost during uh, terrible gales and storms. Two ships were lost just off uh, Clare Island. So it's quite interesting reading. I'll put in a wee photograph of uh, of the literature and the signage. And uh, very interesting, just to think, first of all, obviously, the amount of lives that were lost there, but also imagine the treasures they were carrying, the gold, the doubloons, and the, the silvers, and maybe fantastic sherries and stuff like that, which are still, they're out there somewhere, you know, they're out there to be found, no doubt. If you look over my shoulder there again, you see a boat trailing in some sort of fish farm. It's an added structure, I don't know if it's for fish, perhaps it's a, like an oyster colony or mussel colony. Oysters from this area are amongst they're not amongst the world's finest, I rate them as, as being the world's finest. They're fantastic clue bay oysters on unreal. Yeah, so again, an interesting wee point, something different, something you don't see every day. And as barren and remote a landscape and scenery you, you, you even come across, you know, it's, it's fantastic. It's amazing. It hasn't changed forever. We've stopped off here at a few points in Ackle Island and it's probably one of the most stunning bits of coastline that I've ever seen. So remote, so barren. Next stop over there is America and uh, it's fantastic. I was reading out a sign there. A lot of this area was, was controlled by an ancient clan, an ancient family called the O'Malley's and they had various castles and strongholds and forts built throughout the coastland and they would have taxed the ships and stuff as they were coming through. Uh, they would have had to pay a levy. I think they were also a family of pirates and uh, traders. And they were probably involved in everything. Probably involved in everything. And uh, they've got all their strongholds and forts built. So I'm going to snap some photographs as I come across them. I'll drop them into the wee video. But a fantastic place. A wee bit out of the way, but if anybody's ever down sort of on the west coast of Ireland, it's definitely worth the trip. Definitely. It's majestic. It's very, very good.
this is a wee town or village or whatever it's called. Uh, it's, it's called Keel, K-E-E-L. That's probably one of the most isolated, barren places that I've ever seen. It's full of holiday homes and a caravan park, a golf course and like a wee fizzers the centre with uh, an aquarium in it, a few fish tanks. Nothing special, nothing to write home about. I think the thing which is appealing about it is its remoteness. It, it's very remote, it's very isolated. You, know, you can just see across or across a salt marsh, salt flats, I suppose. It has a feeling of one of the most isolated little towns that I've ever been in. Here we are at Loch Beltra, another very, very famous salmon fishing lake. Again, all wild Atlantic salmon, absolutely beautiful. Cold day, but it'd be nice to be out there.